Hello, welcome down to the Griffin's Location series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at Runger Cutter Fourth Order uh, solution in Excel. So I found this uh, example online, I think it's quite a lot, so we'll see just to go down. It's for the ball at 1200k and cooling down, the ambient temperature is 300k, and you want to get the differential equation for it. We have the exact solution there. Uh, uh, just to know that everything is in K. And just go a little bit of theory is there above. Now I'm not going to go through the whole thing as this is not a maths lecture, it's solution in Excel. And just by the way, just an interesting feeling. If the recording is crackly, apologies in advance. I have a new set of headphones and there's something slightly wrong. Anyway, so just remind you here, just to scroll down, uh, the next term is the old term plus these weighted averages of the different slopes by H, which is uh, the, the sample we're looking ahead. So we have the four slopes, the four slopes are given here, uh, and they would have been derived in class and your maths lecture would explain to them. I'll explain to you what they represent it. We have here, this is about the simplest one I could find uh, because there's only uh, one variable here and that's uh, temperature with respect to time. The work solution is done by hand here. But, uh, and you can see the different K1, K2, K3 k4 established so let's just go to xcal and we have the problem there set up and the step here is 240 so we're going to go 1200 less 240 which will give us 960 960 less 240 is 720 etc so all right the equation editor is there there's K1, K2, K3, and K4. And then we get the next term, or the previous term, plus uh, these weights of the, of the different Ks. So now we can slow down a little bit. K1 is just the function at T0 of the relevant temperature, and the exact solution is given there so there's nothing there the v31 refers to here now here this next cell so um, that's k2 and remember it's a half h0 plus a half k1 h and remember h0 or sorry h is up there that cell b15 so that will remain constant all the time so I will be dragging this cell, you know, H naught is in each term, so I want to refer to cell B15 all the time. I don't want it to change, so how do I stop from changing dollar B dollar fifteen? And the B31 here is the temperature and the E31 is uh, the K1 there. There's a half H naught plus a half K two H. Same as before, K two is in F thirty one. And finally, K four uh, is the full step ahead. And I, t I just have it up there. I think that's okay. I don't think there's anything to get too upset about. Now, here. So, theta, uh, my new temperature is my old temperature plus one six brackets K one plus two K two plus two K three plus K four by the time interval and the time interval by the interval and the interval not the time interval by the temperature interval 
which is the mistake over here. But anyway, we know we're going in steps of 240. So sorry about that. Um, so then there, if I just delete these, And because the square there, you just drag down I know I could drag all four down at one time. So there we have it at 480 temperature is uh, 594. Now the steps there are quite large, they're 240. So what I did was I went to a new sheet and this time I made the step 30. The smaller the step, the, the closer you're going to get to the true answer. The formulas are exactly the same. You, know, you just accept you just try it down more. And for our 480 step, you get 647.5721. Go back to the Word document. See, there's the 480 step, there's the 240 step, and there's the 120 step, and you can see that there's a massive increase, massive error from 480 to 240, and going from 240 to 420 isn't, you know, the 120 it doesn't that get it that much better, but it does. So the more steps you take, the better. And we have here, it's done here. So if you step size of 480, that's just one go. You're 113% out, 240, 8% out, 120.21 uh, of a percent, 0 0.005, and 30.0013%. So I hope you can see from this simple one that the more steps you take, the more accurate you're going to be. And just to go down there, I'm not too sure. Uh, somebody would have done this in class. You would have done the Euler method. Uh, I don't know if you did the Hoon, but anyway, you can see Euler is of the lot the worst, and then Hoon and Fort Order are reasonably close, and then you have the exact as well. Okay, so thanks very much for listening. Bye.